box platforms down there. Those were used originally for the Apollo program and then they were modified for the shuttle program. And because of the flexibility that we have to build into the system now, we weren't in a position to be able to modify them again. So you'll see that there's some here if you want to step up here closer. There were eight box platforms in Hyde Bay 1 that were here as well. And here's a photo of those being taken out. So it was a massive effort to pull those platforms down and get rid of them. Here's another picture of what they looked like when they were deployed. So now we have a clean high bay. And our new design is 10 different platform levels. And the difference with these platforms is that these things were stationary. They were boxes. They didn't go anywhere. But these things can translate horizontally around any hill. And they can also be relocatable and move vertically as well. So that gives us the flexibility. It has an interest in using this high bay. And even those entities that may not have even been conceived yet. So, you know, it's been 40 years since we started using the BAB. Yeah. And this will set us up for the next 40. Okay. So we'll have the opportunity to be able to accommodate anything that comes in. Um, we're talking a little bit about the fact that the building is pretty old right now. So in addition to the new stuff that we're doing just in this high bay, we also have a lot of infrastructure that needs some work. So we've got fire protection piping that we're replacing. We have, uh, during the Apollo and the shuttle programs, we had about 150 miles worth of communications and electrical cables that supported those programs. And we just finished up a program a project to remove all that cable. So we just pulled out 150 miles worth the copper and lead cable. So this is part of the the cool thing is, you know, as technology advances, now you can replace all that cable with just a few fiber optic cables. Really? Uh, was it really cool? Advancements in technology. Uh, in addition to just the VAP, we have another building called the Utility Annex, and it's a support building for everything that happens. I think I know. So, HVAC systems and compressors. And that's sort of the house that we're sort of running. That building's 46 years old also. So we're making a lot of improvements there too. We have five massive really? shippers. So is it, is it really uh, so we use that a lot of the lift operations. We have another 325 to see the uh, traction this way. Just give you an idea of the magnitude of the size of this thing. It's way up there. So it's a traffic light, it's very small. So we may put that in. Imagine the other half of that. So here we have the mock up.